Nah. <laughs> That's I typing without looking. <laughs> Very cool. I think we're going to return a true or false rather than the actual player itself. So, local, not local. <laughs> B is allowed. Equals false to start with. But, I'll say N just in case we get any uh, consistencies where recording this function within another for loop and it's uh, the same index like if we got say recording name check player from within an i for loop let's say that's i and recording it here it would overwrite what what index it is on i found that found that out the hard way <laughs> So it's best to name them where you know they're not going to be overridden with other things. Do. Let's actually set the player name. Local player name equals player name. Nice and simple. Let's actually check for the player is doesn't equal nil. If player not equal nil, no, let's actually say equals nil. Then we return false with an error, I think. So then if, let's just say we get, get a player and they leave suddenly before the script goes through, that would equal nil. It shouldn't really be called, but just in case I sort of do that sort of thing, just to make sure. Yeah. Then return false. Let's actually print first before we return. Print error GUI giver name check. Hey, how did I do that? It's a simpler way of doing that. I'm going to reference the actual script in my errors. I have to load up my other, my other bit of code. Uh, where is that? I think I put it in my GAD script. You're about to see thousands and thousands of lines of code. <laughs> <laughs> and most of us, including me, looking at it and saying, What? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Some kind of hieroglyph. <laughs> Thank you. Can't think if I've done it in this or I don't know if it's in another one. Copy. Let up no pad plus plus. Yeah, two thousand lines. Like uh, look, looking for a needle in a haystack. <laughs> yeah, not that bit, that's the buttons. But all of that, you, you've you actually scripted yourself, haven't it? Yes. This has taken me years to program fully. 
I started off with a little script, like I was showing you earlier, with the uh, where you run it from here. Yeah. And then, then I converted it into a plugin. Oh, and that's, how, that's how it came about. And over the years, I've sort of been adding to it. I'm fixing bugs here and there. Now there's another bug, <laughs> which is the, uh, the screen GUI of the... It's only just a, a cosmetic thing. That's too big! <laughs> That's basically what I'm looking at in the code. <laughs> it's broken container. Nope, not that one, not that one. My object thing. Checking to see what's what on my database. <laughs> Who is this? Uncle, get children, get parts. Yeah, the old way I, I used to get the parts of the model. It used to go through all the parts of the base plate or the workspace. <clears throat> and then it comes across, if it comes across a model, then it would call itself. And then if it's anything else apart from the model, it gets referenced in a little table. That was a slow way of doing it. <laughs> I figured out another way of doing it. Literally almost killed my brain, brain cells working out how to do it from one brick. That was hard. <laughs> I managed to do it. Noob check! Yay! <laughs> Not an actual noob check, just the word. I don't know how to check if you're a noob. <laughs> Yeah, that was requested. Because uh, most of the viruses in robots start with noob, don't they? Like, uh, we have, ha ha, noob, or something. <laughs> the virus. <laughs> location. There we go, debug, traceback. That's what I was looking for. Ah. That would uh, call back the script it's in, plus the position where it is. In fact, I'm going to copy that whole thing over. Yeah, so that copies back the, uh, obviously the message that, that you send to it, plus the location where the error is, or where the thing is. So I can close that down. And close this down. My brain's getting confused. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think um, a little sleep after this is well earned. Well, a mm. lot of sleep. If you if you think the those two functions are set up differently, they're basically both the same. It's just this one can be used inside a, another function if you wanted to. Where that way you can't. Well, you can call it inside that function, but you can't look, reference it probably inside the function. I'll have to do a tutorial on that. <laughs> so basically, that is the same as. that. Same as that. What's, uh, what's wrong with the local? The local, it, all that does is, I think there's a way of actually accessing the functions of a script from outside on another script. I don't think it's able to do it from within the workspace. <clears throat> I think you better do it from a plugin or something. So, the local means that it's only uh, accessible from this script only, I think. I think that's what that means. And that's the same for every value that you see. So, 